Hi friends, so welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I am gonna be sharing some things that I have just been loving lately. So before we get started though, I did just wanna do a little PSA for all of you out there. Some of you might notice that I'm not wearing my wedding band and my diamond today. And the reason is, is that I recently brought it into the jewelry store to get cleaned and inspected, which I do every once in a while. And as it turns out, three of the diamonds in my wedding band were very loose. So I was really happy that I got it in time and now it's in there for a week while they are fixing it up. So I think it's a good idea to bring it in and get it checked so that you all will not look down someday and see one of your stones missing. So I was really glad that I did that and that is the reason I don't have it on today but I thought it would be just a good little PSA to share with all of you. And I think it's also a great segue into the first thing that I have been loving because it is a piece of jewelry. And this portion of the video is in collaboration with Julia Jewelry. I actually became an affiliate with Julia Jewelry after I had received this necklace here that I am wearing. I was so impressed by the quality and how beautiful this necklace is that I did become an affiliate. So they have recently just sent me another beautiful necklace that I wanted to share with you that I have just been loving so much. I wanted to be able to show this to you up close so I will insert some video footage of how this necklace looks on because it really is very pretty. First of all, this necklace is $65, which I think is extremely affordable for the quality and how beautiful it is. And what is so great about this necklace is that it's really customizable. Obviously, you choose the initial that you need, and then you can also choose the birthstone for this first necklace here. I actually chose sapphire. It's very, it's a really small little stone, but really delicate. And even though my birthday is not in September, I just love sapphire, so I picked a sapphire. And you can also choose the length that you want of this necklace. So I have just been loving this. I've been getting compliments on this. The first few times that I've worn this, I've gotten compliments and people were asking me where I got it. So it really is a beautiful piece of jewelry. I'm just really impressed with Julia Jewelry in general because it is a website where you can get very, ex very expensive, precious jewelry, but then also more affordable, like everyday costume type jewelry, but it's just really good quality. It doesn't and tarnish it's really beautiful jewelry for the price and with my discount you can get 15% off I am gonna have this necklace link below as well as this one they're both beautiful but this is my newest love here I just love the look of layered necklaces and this one I have been really been enjoying okay the next thing I wanted to share with you that I have been loving is this derma e crepey skin repair treatment some of you might have seen a vlog that I did, I think it was probably back in January, where I picked this up in an Ulta haul. And I had initially seen this re recommended by Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care. I have mentioned her channel before, I'll have it linked below. But she is a master esthetician, I can never say that. And this was a product that she mentioned on her channel. So I picked it up because it's very affordable. I think it's like $20, $20 $21. I haven't even opened this one. I just picked this up the other day. And you get quite a bit and you don't really need a lot, which is good. So it lasts a long time. But I have been using this on the like jiggly spots, I call it, where I know it's more than crepey, but I could use some firming up. So like my thighs and my upper arms. And I really think that this is helping. Now it's hard to like take a picture and see increase in firmness in your own skin, but I really do feel like it is making my skin a little bit tighter, which with short season and tank top season coming up, that is what I am looking for. So I will tell you that it is kind of a strong, I don't know if it's lavender or a menthol type scent. So it's not, it's not fragrance free by any means. It does dissipate, but you should know that there is a pretty strong like botanical fragrance when you first put this on. And another thing, you do not need a lot because if you take too much out of this and you're rubbing it in, it will be like white and you'll be rubbing forever to try to get the white into your, you know, to blend it into your skin. 
skin. But then after that, like I said, I've been using it almost every single day for probably three months, and I think it's really making a difference in the firmness of my upper thighs, particularly. I've really been enjoying this. I think it's a great price point. I can pick it up right at Ulta. So I've really been enjoying this Derma E, the Crepey Skin Repair Treatment. The next thing that I wanted to share with you that I have been loving that I picked up at DSW are these adorable Converse sneakers. These look very much like the classic Converse that I had a pair of these growing up like in the late 70s. I know my older sisters, they were very popular with them and I wanted a pair so I remember I think I had like a light blue pair. But these are, I feel, better than the classic Converse and I'll show you why. I love the look of like an untied sneaker like this is, but I find it very hard. I, I guess I might have like a narrow heel. So if I tried to do this look with just a regular pair of Converse sneakers, I would be walking and my heel would just be slipping up and down the entire time. So I can't seem to do that. But you can see here, it's got the a little elastic at the back, so it keeps it nice and snug up against your heel. So you get the cute look of having it look like it's untied, but yet it does not slip with this little elastic grip. So I love that. And then these do not have arch support. They do have a pretty thick like insole that's very cushioned. And I will tell you that I am loving these for comfort just for like a day of errands, just a normal day, even I've walked Louie around the block in these. They are very comfortable. Now I probably would not wear them for like a full day of like sightseeing somewhere or if you were at a theme park where you're gonna be doing lots of walking and on your feet all day long. If you need arch support, these might not be good for that type of thing. But because I usually do need arch support in my sneakers, but with these, they are, like I said, comfortable for just like errands and around the house and just walking Louie just around the block. They have been really comfortable, but I think they are so cute. So I have just been wearing these so much and absolutely love them. They did at DSW when I was picking up these, they also had like a really pretty, I think it was like almost a coral color, which I'm, I'm thinking I may go back and get those because I think that would be kind of a fun color to add into my shoes, you know, my shoe wardrobe. But really love these Converse. They're, they look like the classics, but with this updated little elastic at the heel, just makes them really easy to wear and so cute. So I have just been loving these Converse sneakers. The next thing I wanted to tell you about is another YouTuber's channel that I, you know I like to share channels with you in case you aren't familiar because it's always amazing to me how YouTube like it really selects the videos that you see coming up on your home screen and then when you find a creator or content creator that you like you're like why did they never suggest them to me earlier so maybe you have never heard of her channel and that's why I wanted to tell you it is another Tina and her her channel's name is Tina her beautiful journey and so Tina does like I guess I would call it like really affordable makeup and skincare she focuses on like affordable drugstore makeup up. And, and Tina, Tina, if I'm getting that wrong, you can put that in the comments below and describe your channel for everybody. And I'm going to have it linked, obviously, below. But I really enjoy Tina's videos because she does a lot of like eyeshadow techniques that I, she makes it look so easy. And she does really like bold eye looks, which I don't do so, but I love watching other people do. And I, she just, and she just makes it look so easy. I cannot do what she does, but I love watching her. She has a really calming, peaceful presence, and she's just so pretty. So I've really been enjoying her channel, and I've gotten really good recommendations for some really affordable products from her as well. So go ahead and check out Tina, Her Beautiful Journey, her channel below. I think you're really going to enjoy it as much as I do. And one of the products that I am loving that I actually saw on Tina's channel is this e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. And I think this is a really neat product. So what this is, is that it is a combination, when you first put it on, it is a lip gloss. I'm going to apply just a little bit more 
right now so you can see it because it's been a, it's been an hour or two since I put it on. Let me put a little bit on and you can see how glossy it is right when you put it on. Okay. So there it is. So what is neat about this product is that it is a gloss, a colored gloss to begin with, and then as the gloss fades away, the stain stays on your lips. And I think that is a really neat idea. So the color that I picked this up in is called Pinkies Up. So it's kind of like a nude color. Really loving this lip gloss stain. And my best friend from high school was visiting me recently and she picked up one of these as well. It looks so pretty on her. I wish I knew the color that she chose looked gorgeous on her but this is a great product for gloss initially and then it leaves just a nice stain so very like natural looking so comfortable to wear so i really do love this product and this was one that was recommended by tina on her channel now you probably saw i was using the mirror for this and this is another one of my latest loves and this is the tartlet and bloom palette and let me show you these beautiful colors So for those of you that have watched my channel for a long time, you're gonna be like, Tina, you must have like five other palettes in those same colors. <laughs> I absolutely do. But I have been pining over this palette for the longest time. Ever since the Ulta moved into my neighborhood Target, I have gone by this palette almost every time I go to Target and have looked at it and wanted to buy it, but it is pricey. It is, I think, regular price is like $45. Finally one day I decided I was just going to use my Ulta points when I was at Ulta one day and picked it up and I'm really glad I did because I just love it. I never had tried Tarte eyeshadows before and they are really lovely eyeshadows. Let me just swatch a couple here for you. I'll, I think this is the matte shade that I've got on today. And then this beautiful shimmer. And then I also love this pink. And then this, oh, this is a gorgeous one too. So here's just a couple of the shades in there. I find them really neutral, really natural. And you know what? This palette smells like chocolate. <laughs> Is that all Tarte palettes? I did not know that. And the first day I was putting it on, I was like, it smells like chocolate. Sure enough, it smells like chocolate. So how delightful is that? You're putting on your eye makeup and it smells like chocolate. So I have just been loving this. It was kind of a splurge that I don't need. I do not need. I have enough eyeshadow for seven lifetimes at this point, but I just love these colors. These are the ones I wear every day. It's got a really nice big mirror that you can actually use. So I think even though it's a little bit bigger than I normally like for travel size, I think because it's got that mirror in it, I would actually bring this. So I have just been loving the Tartlet and Bloom palette from Tarte. Just beautiful neutral colors, and even though I didn't need it, I'm really loving it. Okay, you're probably like, what happened? You are in a totally different spot right now. <laughs> My neighbor just started mowing her lawn in her backyard, which is right near the windows of where I sit normally when I'm filming, and I actually am had to redo a video the other day because she was mowing when I was filming and it was so distracting. So I have just moved here into my dining room to finish up this video. So let me go ahead and continue showing you the things I love. The next thing I wanted to share with you that I have been loving, especially since it is sandal season or if you're breaking in new shoes, this is the Body Glide Foot Glide Anti Blister. And this is a little stick where, that you just roll up. And what you do is that you rub this, it, it kind of feels almost like a solid deodorant when you're rubbing it on. But what is, what's ever in this product, it keeps your, like it puts a coating down over your, the area that you apply it on your feet. And whatever's rubbing up against there, it doesn't, it, like it makes it so you don't get blisters. And it is perfect for sandal season. I have got a few pair of new sandals that 
even just walking around a little bit in the house, I could tell there were areas that were definitely rubbing and I would be getting blisters if I just wore them like that. But I put this on the spots that I have my, you know, the little pressure points that are rubbing. I rub this on and then it is so comfortable, I do not get blisters. And I keep it right in my purse so that it's so easy if you're out and about and you need to add a little bit more, I just rub it on that spot and then it's good to go again. I was with my oldest son recently and he had just bought a new pair of sneakers and he had like the no-show socks on and there was a part of it that was rubbing. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got my blister balm in here and I took it out of my purse and he put it on and it helped him too. Where he's like, oh my gosh, this is great, it really works. So this has just been so great for sandal season or any time you might be breaking in new shoes. You just apply a little of this wherever it's rubbing and then it takes care of it and no blisters. So I absolutely love this. I'll have it linked below from Amazon. It's pretty affordable and it lasts a long time. And I love the size of it, like I said, that I can throw it right in my purse so I always have it available to me when I need it. So I am loving the Body Glide Foot Glide Anti-Blister Balm. Another thing I wanted to share with you that I have been loving, and this it might sound like kind of a funny thing, but this is, this is the, it's a nail polish remover, and it's the kind that you dip your finger into. So I was at Target not too long ago, and I saw this, and it actually made me think of my mom. And um, she used to use the sponge, it used to be in a container like this, but it was like just a regular sponge in there that you would take your nail polish off, and she loved that. And seeing this, I, I, I was thinking of my mom, I was missing her, and I was like, I'm gonna get this nail polish remover because mom loved it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. And when I opened it up, I was really surprised that it is not the sponge in here anymore. It is actually like this plastic with these like little like, um, I don't know what you would call them, these little things, that plastic things that stick out. So it really removes your nail polish so easily. And unlike the sponge, I remember years ago using my mom's and if someone had used like a dark color nail polish and they were removing it with a sponge, if you had like, you used it after that, it would sometimes you would see like darker nail polish like kind of staining your fingers or something. With the way that this is set up, it doesn't happen. So you can do a dark color in here, then you can do a light color and it just, it removes it and there's no staining at all on your fingers. So I love this. It makes it so easy to take off my nail polish. So I thanks mom for reminding me. All right, and the last thing I wanted to share with you that I've been loving is another e.l.f. product. And this is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Sleeping Mask. And I purchased this obviously with the intent of using it on my face and I used it one night. And for those of you that aren't familiar with sleeping masks, they, they call it a mask, but what it really is is kind of like a thick moisturizer that you wear overnight and it really just like keeps all the moisture in your skin. So you wake up and it's, they're really nice. But this one does have a fragrance. And I have to say, even having sensitive skin, most of the time I can get away with scented products on my face because they're not too, you know, my, I don't know, they haven't bothered me too much. But the fragrance in here seemed to bother me because I woke up the next morning and I had a lot of redness. And this was the only thing that I had added that was new, so I attributed it to this. So I decided I can't use it on my face, but I really love how it feels. It's really thick and creamy, and it's got great in skincare ingredients in here. It has ceramides, it has peptides, it has hyaluronic acid, collagen, so it's got really good skincare ingredients. Well, I have been using it as a hand overnight mask, and I love it. So every night before bed, I just put a little bit of this on, rub it all into my hands, and then leave it on. And it's not thick and greasy where it's not uncomfortable, like if you've got your hands up by your face, it's not like sticking to everything. It soaks right in, but yet you wake up and your hands just feel so nice and soft. So I have been doing this through the later winter and into the spring because my skin was still so dry. Love this as a hand mask. And because 
it's e.l.f. It's still really affordable. I can't, I can't remember the price. I think it was like maybe $11 or something. So, I mean, that might be a lot for a hand cream, but you need so little of it that it will last. It's, I mean, I think I've been using this since March or February and I've got a lot in here. So it lasts a long time and it's just really a great treatment for your hands. And I was thinking to myself that hands are one of the things that show age very quickly and I'm thinking to myself why am I not taking better care of my hands anyway so I do this every night and I think it's keeping my hands looking really like moisturized and not crepey looking so I love this elf the sleeping mask but I use it for my hands overnight okay friends so I am gonna wrap up the video for today I hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that I have been loving and, and of course in the comments I do appreciate when you put things that you've been loving recently so that I can check them out because you always have such good recommendations so thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch my videos I hope you know how much I appreciate it and I will see you all next time Bye.